Hey, what's up guys? It's Dr. Steve here. And in this video, I want to ask you about who are you taking advice from? Now, obviously I'm speaking about business for the most part, but this can apply to any area of your life. In business, let's say you're thinking about joining a network marketing company or a home-based business or an MLM. You might even be considering joining me. You might be watching some of my videos, reading some of my blogs and saying, hey, this stuff seems pretty cool. I like Dr. Steve. I connect with him. I want to work with him. But you're not 100% convinced. You're not 100% sure. So you start asking people, hey, what do you think about this? Hey, have you ever tried that before? Think about the people you're asking. So many times people will go up to their broke friend or their broke brother-in-law or their broke sibling or whoever and ask them for advice about a business. They're broke. Why are you asking them for their advice? They don't know. It's not like there's some massive success. If you want to ask somebody, ask somebody who's been a massively huge success in business or finance or marketing or whatever. Someone whose opinion is actually valuable. I don't care if they're your friend or your family. If they're broke, if they have no success, why does their opinion matter to you? They haven't achieved what you're obviously looking for. That's why you're considering a business. That's why you're evaluating it. Because you're after something. If they don't have it, they're the wrong ones to ask. Would you go up to someone who's been divorced three times and ask them for marital advice? No. They're not good at marriage. <laughs> they pick the wrong people. They can't make a relationship work. It's that simple. You know, would you go up to a degenerate gambler and ask them for investment advice? Or gambling advice? How do I play this game? They're not good at it. They don't have the results you want. Those are not the people you should be asking. Who are you asking for your advice? Think about that the next time you ask for advice. It always laugh, I always laugh when people evaluate my business and say, well, you know what, you know, my brother-in-law said, I'm like, oh, your brother-in-law, is he, is he like a really successful business person? No, he's actually unemployed right now and broke. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah, by all means, go ahead and take his word for it. Don't listen to me. I just make money from home and uh, help other people do the same. But, yeah, you don't have to listen to me. Listen to your broke brother-in-law who's unemployed and has no money. That's a good idea. Yeah, do that. But that's what people do. That's what people do. Don't do that. If that's you, don't do that. Start thinking about, is this person qualified? It doesn't matter if they're your best friend, your brother, your sibling, your whoever. It doesn't matter what your relationship is. Are they qualified to give you advice on the subject on which you're asking? And if they're not, it's not worth their opinion. Your, their opinion is not worth it. Don't base a decision on someone else's opinion if they're not qualified to give it. So think about that the next time you're asking for advice from someone. And again, this is true in any area of your life. You don't ask an opinion about buying a car from someone who knows nothing about cars or who's crashed nine of them or who just overpays for everything. That's not the right person to ask advice from. So again, this applies to every area of your life. So just be careful about who you're asking for advice from. Okay, guys? I just wanted to share that with you because people make that mistake on a daily basis. So... Again, guys, click like if you're getting some value out of these videos. Leave a comment below if you can connect or relate to anything that I've been saying. Make sure you share this video with people who are taking advice from the wrong people on a regular basis. You know who they are. It might even be you. <laughs> and subscribe to my channel because I do uh, share a lot of business tips uh, just like this one. So that's it, guys. Go have an awesome day. Be productive. And I'll see you next time.